Thales was the first, the freaking physics father, believed everything was made of one thing, water. Next guy was Aristotle. He was insane. His theories got proven wrong by anyone with a brain. But don't worry. Here's Archimedes in 250 BC. He made some pretty huge discoveries. Buoyancy was his thing. He was the volume king. Figured it out for you and all of us other wing dings. Watch out Philoponus with the freaking notion. An object with force acting upon it will make motion. If you think that's impressive, check out Newton. He's got three laws that'll serve this physics world of Putin. Law number one, that's inertia. An object still stay at rest unless somebody hurts ya. Lay numero dos. It's the law of mass. Acceleration needs a net force so it can move its three. Equal and opposite. So when you feel a kickback, you know what's causing it. That just leaves us with Einstein. A sublime bright mind. He theorized relativity and gravity's activity. But hey, what falls faster? A bowling ball? or a whole hunk of plaster, put them in a vacuum, they fall at the same speed, no air resistance, gravity's all you need, and what does weight mean? It's how much gravity acts upon your sector. Here's a cool thing, what about a vector? Rule number one, and needs a directive. Rule number two, and needs a magnitude. For pokertude, it's cool. Really, dude. Vectors go well with speed and velocity. One measures displacement, the other measures sloppily. Speed doesn't care which direction it goes. As long as it goes fast, the fastest it'll show. Next we go on to acceleration. It measures velocities, change in station. Take two positions, find the midpoint. That finds instantaneous velocity, exclamation point. Next, let's talk forces, the bane of the many physics student courses. Normal is what the ground gives back so you don't fall up through the earth like freaking jack jack point force make comes from liquids pressure from water makes the cork float predicted force applied through the chain of rope is called tension pray that doesn't snap hope two normal forces interact and makes friction this is non-fiction so add it in your addiction drag also known as air resistance we can thank it for the whole freaking plane's existence so class what did we learn today? No response needed. Say nothing. No more delay. Physics rules this world. Like two superiors, Gherkin rules my fate as my grade in the crosshairs.